Do you agree with Jerry? Like consolidation, here we go. Good morning. Well, M&A, without question, is very slow right now. M&A is about optimism. And I think given the level of uncertainty in the sector, um, we're not going to see M&A for some time. But, but I, I do agree with Jerry. I think what we're going to see over time is consolidation because you do need scale. You need scale to leverage these fixed operating costs. Even the, even the big retailers, if you've seen, their costs are going up. And I, I think we're going to see uh, M&A as consolidation of mid-sized players to provide a more competitive and defensive position. Well, I'm glad you brought up the cost going up because uh, I've been wondering a lot, are we seeing sort of a structural margin shift within retail um, as they have to put out more money in their uh, retail stores to sort of help workers, help customers, also having to invest a lot more on digital and uh, to, to be able to deliver things faster? I think we're seeing the cost go up in several ways because you're seeing really strong sales growth at the mass retailers, but the sales growth has come at a cost. You're seeing it in terms of the product mix because the shift to more essential categories is fundamentally lower margin food consumables. But as you point out, there's also a higher cost related to the shift to fulfilling digital orders. Last mile delivery is higher cost. It's much higher cost. So that's a fundamental shift. Uh, you know, it comes along with the migration to digital. And then, as you point out, the costs for these COVID um, crisis-related costs are pretty staggering. I think Walmart reported $900 million, Home Depot 850 Target. You know, the question is how much of that is recurring as you have to reconfigure stores, sanitize, and do things fundamentally differently. Does that affect then what these retailers can spend on consolidation, on M&A, on sort of uh, whatever expansion they need to be expanding on? I think in the middle market is where you'll see more consolidation. I do think you'll see in the bigger retailers more investment in technology and, you know, to really support this agile supply chain and distribution. If you think about the technology that's required to, you know, deliver this Agile services, you know, delivery within two hours. I think that will stem some additional investment and could potentially be M&A. I do believe the consolidation is going to be below these mega mass retailers where others consolidate because you need scale to miti mitigate costs and you need ways to compete with Amazon and to compete mm. with, you know, the Targets and Walmarts of the world.